it's Jam here, and this is another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro game we're going to be playing. And this time we're playing Ritual Beasts with uh, the new set coming in a few days. So I'm just getting ready to see how they work and stuff. And it's actually kind of tricky to get them to work, but when you get used to it, it's really similar to like uh, archetype like Glad Beast. And this is my current build at the moment. I'm finding these two, the penguin and the kind of hawk guy. Kind of one of the best ones, right? Actually, uh, it's two of the more important ones. So I'm playing three of them each, as well as this guy. Um, he's important for that first turn play, and only two of Rera and Wen, since they're more like mid-game plays. And these two, it's because you got to have more spiritual bees. There's not enough of them, and uh, they're not the worst one. This is probably the worst one, but. You may as well play two since I'm playing two of these dolphin thingies. So you can go to the grave. Um, playing upstart since it's a combo deck. Uh, of course, three e tellies and a macro and a dim fissure. Since this doesn't care, this deck doesn't really care if everything gets banished. And three MSTs, gold sark, and foolish for that first turn setup. For example, if you draw a win and a gold sark, you can do your first turn kind of hawk plays and foolish for the rarer one. Uh, play. Um, I'm playing three of the uh, the destruction card. Uh, this is one of the most useful ones at the moment. Um, basically, for each of your uh, spirit beast, spirit ritual beast, I keep calling them spirit beast, it's ritual beast, sorry. And they are destroyed equals to the amount, uh, up to the amount. So it's basically like Fire Lake, but it only destroys monsters. And you might be wondering why I'm only playing one of this. Um, I hate drawing one of this at the beginning of the match and don't draw Can Hawk. Um, most of the time I search this mid game with the ulti Can Hawk. And staples, staples, staples. And um, you can change these if you want. You can even drop upstart for, for example, more traps like Fiendish Chain, etc. Um, breakthrough skills, um, compose, etc. As for the extra deck, we're playing free Paleo, free Can Hawk. This guy's one of the most important one to um, summon. Uh, this guy, most of the time, I'll never summon this in the game. I usually just send it to the banish zone with the dolphin, with the uh, penguins effect, and the dolphin goes to the graveyard from the deck. So there's more fodders and targets for error. And rank fours, uh, all the beasts are rank fours, and you rank four with those guys most of the time. Make sure since they're all wind. Uh, pretty st standard rank fours. And you can play Psychic Commander as well if you want to play Synchros. Or Psychic Jumper, for example. However, there's not enough space in the extra deck, in my opinion. That's why I decided to not play them. And the Zephyr Pelica is actually really good. Um, one of the problems with the deck at the moment is just, uh, these guys aren't searchable outside of e -Tele. and that's terrible since you want to normal summon these guys and you can't so uh, this is going to be searchable at the moment you go for the current version doesn't have the search card which is for Zephyrus and that's why I'm not playing it at the moment and it's not even out of Japan yet maybe in a, in a day I think, I'm not sure and I'm not playing this one since this card is an egg one and most of, most of the time I leave a kind of hawk in defense position or Napoleon in attack position. In that case, um, the opponent tries to target it by a snatch deal or I don't know, whatever. And you can run away and summon the two banished, two of your, one of your tamers and one of your banished beasts. And right there, then we should try the game. I've only actually tested this build. Oh, I'm lost few games. Not too bad. That's your first turn, kind of hawk. Since we already have Rera in hand, we want to summon um, Evil Wen or um, the dude. Don't remember the dude's name. It's meant to be Kamui in the lore from the Gusto clan. Poly. Keep the swamp. Set one, can get the swamp play. Right, let's go for the. Um, I don't know what that is, so just pop it. Chain. Bolsack, that's fine. 
that's not a summon dolphin. So we're not going to summon Rara at the moment. Probably summon uh, Elder. They will poke with us, so I can kind of hop. defense position and we can get banish these two and we can get this card now she's got a target in the grave but we can also use this to get these two guys off from the grave so that's the one we can do this guy can't run away now it's fine though to be honest Okay, now what does this do? Target one, race up, accept this card. That is fine. Miracle Fusion. Right, now this is probably. They'll make another one. So in that case I'll probably sell on that one. Can't really do anything about that. Form change. Target one, entitled extra X, very similar extra X, one master hero. Same level. Same level as the original, so what can he summon? I can be summon a one mask hero, that's it. Oh man, I may as well break through that. That's a lot of damage. Now we can use this. Summon these two. Now we got we <laughs> saw the time when we can use the Petolfin's effect, or a banish one card from a hand and bounce one monster back to the hand. So that'll go back to the extra deck, and we can summon this one. For more damage. This hasn't been a fast game at the moment since we um, we didn't get a single Canahawk or uh, what's it or the Penguin first turn. So. But right now, we can summon kind of hawk indeed. Summon kind of hawk. So we can just use this card to pet. summon Rara and the pink, uh, the penguin, <laughs> the dolphin, <laughs> and we can summon kind of hawk. Which will let us get um, the destruction card. So which one should we turn back? Turn these two. We got a win there. Just return those two. Whatever wants to leave summon instead. I don't know what this is to. Target one monster you're to turn my target, you're going to declare a titan to an active enemy. Control this space to the and remove the target. My monster is in the same position. So that is going to be banished, right? Oh, let's destroy that. We can't walk back now since we haven't got a banished target. I guess we could do that. Or we should waste the Italy? No, we're not gonna waste the Italy. Oh, actually we can, we can, we can do that. Get a win out. Win's got the highest attack. Attack 
she'll be banished, which means this card can run away now. Dash, okay. Scarlet's based on oh, so, let's see what happens. So I need to draw one. Scarlet's so, so, change position. Draw a monster while this card here. You can especially when this card is from your Well, that sucks, okay. During this turn, special summon less than hero card can be destroyed. But I might do something here. This card is special win by plot tie destroy or monster you control. Except blah, 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 blah. During this any turn this card is special summon. This thing your monsters you control can be destroyed. Take no battle damage. Attacking the versus card you're also gonna attack for monsters this thing you control, okay. So find MST there, at least down there, I guess. Then we can the blaze. Got zero defense though. Elder. See if I need to break through skill that I take no battle damage during this so oh. During the turn this card is special something. Attack and defense with scars equal to the combined original attack. So I can just attack it, right? Oh. This card has zero at Zero attack. I keep thinking this guy has a hundred. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> you can do the can out play. It's impossible to use loop now without one can of hawk. Let's get rarer. Since we haven't normal summoned yet. Ah, that's just when we needed that card. Send that to the grave. I hopped up there, I think. I could have gone for a game if I summoned <laughs> this guy. Oh well. Now this card. It's one of the engines. Whatever. Prolonged that for no reason. But well, okay. Once again. Card deck. Oh, not this hand. Okay. Oh, it's a quasar deck. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I have nothing to stop this. They're, they'll be drawing two cards now. Lion. Go for Lion. Do that. Summon this guy. Then we can summon something. That guy. Now we can go back to that guy. Should we drop the snatch right now? I don't want them to draw two cards, so. It's alright. Such a good card, mathematician. It's fine. No, I want to book a moon something. Actually, no, let's leave it. This guy will gain attack. Great. That's fine. So he gains a shit ton of attack. 
each uh, monster you control is a battle card effect. That double warrior. Uh, I'll just that guy. In phase, we can do that, or we could do this. Most likely, just do this. So we can summon something. Should I waste that now? I don't see the point. Yeah, we got the penguin. It's impressive. Probably the one to go for. Send cards to the graveyard. So at the moment we want Canhawk to the graveyard, so we're gonna banish that. Send Canna to the grave. Um, no spot removal for that um, card. But this is level 4, so we can do this. Um, we need more spirit beast tamers, so let's put the Spanish Rara. And cast that off the. Um oh, I flipped that, so I can't really summon anything else other than spirit beasts. Your Spanish kind of hawk, I guess. Now yeah, I can get that card. Return this one. I don't like that supply squad. If monster you control is for battle card effects, that's fine, I guess. Don't really want to kill this stuff. I will do a lot of damage, but they will draw two cards, which I don't want to happen. Snatch. Synchro monster in your graveyard. Ooh, that's annoying. Um, I'll probably run away now with this. I don't want it to go to the grave. Now nah, I might use this card now. It lets me destroy four monsters on the field. They still draw one card, but that's fine. Since it all happens at the same time. And now we can banish Lero with this guy. Oh, didn't let me. Oh well. It's fine. Let's banish this one. So all my dudes gain attack. And let's see what they have. Oh, I forgot to use penguins effect. Oh well. Chidori. That goes to the bottom. Let's go to the top of the deck. And I could normal something, can I? Manage something. Manage whatever. The dolphin, I guess. So then one more of this guy. Nice game. Uh, next game. I'm not one a single <laughs> rock paper scissors. Oh well. This is why you play the tamer, um, the elder. You can now make something. However, you probably want the penguin or the the kind of hawk guy. It's a lot better. But then the pendulums again, this deck's very popular for some reason. Ooh, okay. Four Colts Cannon and. Can the pendulum shit turn some monsters, I'm guessing. UK attack. That's strong. 
Let's see what we get. There we go. It's one of the best draws ever. Kind of warm. Now I can normal summon this guy. You have too many of these, so. Guess we could manage the penguin. Then we can summon the lion. It's like the only big dude that we can make. <laughs> Any point there is, so we can get the penguin out, get something into the graveyard. At this point, probably kind of hot. Yeah, we can summon something. Can't be destroyed by battle or discard. Um, since we have this, we can just summon this guy. Turn two cards, this one, and say the penguin to get Lera. We'd have gotten to pop a card first, though. Oh well. This guy is going to die. Actually, won't. So you can run away. MST this. Probably chain that now. I uh, may as well chain that card. And uh, get the one from the graveyard. So, two of them are probably gonna die. Instead of this, I could have gotten the trap and destroy monsters. That would have been a lot better. Oh well. Ooh, that's the best card to top deck. Right now, send that lion to the grave. The lone lion that we have. We'll get kind of. I wish I had the line at this point, but it doesn't matter. I guess I'll banish. We're gonna get win anyway, so let's just banish this guy. Okay, top deck something. Top deck that. Nah. Hmm. I have more cards, so I can't really excite him like them. I guess we can clear the field. Because this guy's at 2 6. I think the biggest weakness of this deck is um, probably Maxi and Vanities. <laughs> Just dice to that card, those cards. See how many times you special something with this deck. It's incredible. Okay, well. Let's not going to do that effect right since I got two of the freaking dolphins in hand. this point probably gonna return some that guy Oops. probably whatever doesn't really matter get this one pop a lot of monsters we can make two kind of hops there's no point at this point though do it next turn 
through two of the freaking dolphins. That's terrible. <laughs> It would be amazing if this card can pop any cards like Fire Lake. It'd be so good. See that? These two. If you pop these three cards, that'd be ridiculously good. Since you can only space summon these guys once per turn, you usually do it on your opponent's turn as well as uh, your own. Skill drain, jit. That's annoying. But I can space summon those guys. Um, I don't want this penguin thingy. So I'm probably going to summon the lion. Yeah, these two. So much damage. Can't use that. Anything in the deck that I could send? I do want to draw the MST like really soon, so... Uh, this is useless. Skill drain is on the field. Any XCs? I don't play Crazy Box. Okay. Surrendered, I don't know why. I think that might be in game. 3k. No, it's not game. It's like probably on 600 left. Oh well. One more game. Mm -hmm. Win. I don't win. Never win this! Penguin. We do have plays since we drew this card, so it might be decent. They've got Torrential. I wasn't even looking at what they potted into. Oh well. They do have Torrential, don't they? Anyway, that sucks. Let's bait it out. What's in this? Reading the card, I think. Back to this guy. No, that is fine. Macro is fine. Totally fine. So macro is just like the best card. But that's Spanish. Macro is like the best card to use against this deck. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Set free. Penguin OP. Green penguin. More pot. Okay. Ooh, what deck is this? Some random anti meta deck. Okay, set DD Warrior Lady. Yo, okay. Can't torrential me if I do that though. I'm gonna do this this way. Come on, son. Reading the card. And I'll chain this. Get a free canner. Ah, oh, they can't torrential. They flip traps, then though. I'm like, shit.
Okay. So we'll destroy that one. That's so busted. That is so busted. <laughs> chain link one, chain link two of that. They can't surrender, shall we? Ah, uh, too good. I guess I'll. Um... Hmm. We could manage one. Then we can send Palio to the grave. More to the Bannock Zone. Let's attack. Much point in summoning since FTT. But whatever. MST. Okay. Rarus got such high defense, so annoying. Right. Am I actually going to win with these little creatures? May as well add the uh, monster popping card <laughs> later. Some macros on the field. Sent penguin, uh, dolphin. Come on. into mirror force. Return from different dimension would be so good in this deck. Oh my god. I'm destroyed the warrior lady. God god D. I have to break through that. They want to TT their own themselves. Okay. It's fine. Gold star. Nah, I get. I get these cards in like legit, man. Free cards. Summon anything. Summon this guy again. Kinda looks just too good. One of the most important cards in the deck. Oh man! Need a strain. Okay. Cold Sarf, I guess. Two more cards, probably. Rarest really used to stuff him since there's nothing in the graveyard, but oh well. I forgot this is a uh, thing. Cool. So now I get this card and I get more cards. Well, not yet, but like, yeah. This card's so good. Damn it, all the traps. I'll get there eventually. I can still fusion, that's ridiculous, I didn't know that. I can still fusion with the face downs. It's legit. Okay, let's go for it. Come on. Waiting. Compose. But then I can chain this guy's effect. To run away and summon more monsters. Someone can hold. It's so it's so good since they target you, you can just chain the fusion monsters and run away. <laughs> it's too this deck's better than I thought it was. 
All right, there we go. There is uh, my build of ritual beasts. Surprisingly, didn't lose a single game out of the four games I usually play on. And yeah, it is fun to play, and it's getting more support with the new Pelica Zephyra. So, why don't you try it out when it's out? Right, if you have any more suggestions for decks to play, I'm always looking for those. And don't forget to comment below for those who want to request. Okay, Jam here signing off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye. Good deck.